If you like this movie, give me a thumbs up, please. It really helps other people to find my movies. Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Now, in the last movie, I made this one, the roof framing plan. Today, what I'd like to do is to create a section through this building. Now, because I've already created a lot of my information in 3D, I've got my rafters and I've got my ceiling and I've got all that kind of information. It's already there in 3D, so it's going to be a lot easier for me to make my sections. Now, this might be a little bit weird, but I'm going to create my section using my plan viewport. If you select the plan viewport, you can go up to view on the menu bar and you can choose create section viewport, that one there. Okay, so I want to go through this doorway, but I don't want to go through that rafter. So I'm going to hit the Z key to zoom in, just miss that rafter, come down through here, click. Which way do you want to look? You can see the arrow changing. I want to look that way, double click. And what do I want this to be? I want this to be section. Uh, caps lock is on, let's turn that off. Section A dash A. Uh, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here and that's going to be number one and it's going to be on section AA. So I've already created a sheet layer for this. What layers do I want to see? I've got my two layers. What classes do I want to see? I want to see a little bit more than that. I need to turn on things like my walls. Let's have a look at wall. What have we got? We want cladding. We want existing. We want the foundation. We want the lining. External walls if we've got them, foundation walls, internal linings. Because I had all those turned off for my roof framing plan. I've also got some ceilings. Uh, it says a structural ceiling, make sure we turn that on as well. Anything else we can turn on later. So detail level is medium. My scale is 1 to 50, hidden line. I'm not going to render this or sketch it. So if I wanted to sketch it, that would be great for a concept. This is not a concept, so I'm not going to do that. We've got some advanced section properties. I'm going to limit it by the section line length. Um, I'm not going to choose finite because then I have to calculate the height of my foundations. And I'm not going to turn on extents before. Attributes. Now, so I'm going to start off by merging all of my cross sections together using the attribute class section style. And I'll leave those with original at the moment, although I'll come back and change those later. And display. Now, if you turn on black and white only, you lose a lot of control over line weights, line colors. So you can't use gray. It's all black and white. So I'm going to change and turn that off. OK. And OK. So there's my section. Uh, missing a title block. So I'm just going to go back up here. I'm just using my control or command and arrow keys. And that allows me to jump between drawings uh, all the time so let's just go back up here select that so copy that come down here paste and there's my title block this is my section so what I'd like to show you is the differences that we've got let's have a look up here advanced properties uh, let's do first of all let's change this to section style faded and let's see what the difference is which I think is really cool. You can actually see the building behind in a slightly different color. I think it's a neat trick. I stole that trick from somebody. Uh, so thank you very much for that idea. Next thing, let's look at advanced properties. I'm going to change this to separate cross sections. Use, use, add a profile line. OK, and let's update again. So you can see before it looked much more like a conceptual type drawing. Now it looks like more like a detailed drawing. You can see my lining. You can see my wall structure. You can see my cladding on the outside. You can also see the concrete fill in my slab. Now the slab is actually made as a three dimensional slab. I made 3D objects for the slab thickening and for the foundation edges. And I added those to my slab. This is my rafter. Uh, and now I can start to add information to it. So the one information I always add, everyone always asks me about this trick, which is the ground. So I'm going to use my polyline tool. So G key. So tab, tab, minus 225. So click to start, right across with a shift key. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, and click. So this wants to be a hatch. We want this hatch to be soil. 
there's one there soil 1 to 20 and if I don't like the scale of it I can change it with my attribute mapping tool so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger maybe two and a half times bigger that's much better okay send it to the back right click send to back looks much better and finally a heavy line now I quite like that I think the heavy line makes a big difference but really when I used to draw in the old days I used to draw with a heavy line but no line around the hatching and you can use your reshape tool to turn that off and you get the same effect that you used to have now this hatch you can see through this hatch so what I need to do is I need to locate this hatch in the resource manager which is on my other screen so it's here let's edit this hatch and what we want to do is give it a background fill which is white okay now I have sent it to the back when I send it to the front you can see it covers everything so I'm going to go send backward if I can and see if it just sends back a little bit but the I'll just send all the way to the back but that's the actual uh, my foundation running through the other side of my building all right so you can see I've got my ceiling I just need to put something like my bats in there let's run my bats so I probably would have bats that ran between these Uh, those are nine. Those should be 90. So I'm going to change those from 152 to 90, and then I'm going to have bats running across the other direction, all the way across, so I don't get any cold bridging like that. So I'd have two layers of bats with my current construction techniques. How about some labels or some notes? Let's have some notes. I'm going to use a notes manager here. I've got my three-point click. So click, click. This is my roofing ridge capping so that's the ridge capping there and then I've got another one which is my construction so this will be my roofing it's that one there and I'm going to stretch these out I need another note for my insulation so I'm going to click over here put my that one there so I need to look for insulation I need my roof insulation that'll do and I, actually I'd like all these notes to line up so let's line all those notes up modify align align distribute these lines okay and I want them to line up there and that's a really quick way to line up your notes let's export exit that let's look at my whole drawing let's move it and you can see it's now starting to develop a little bit more life. So that's the quick way to draw a section in Vectorworks. So thanks for watching. Now if you like this movie, give me a thumbs up please. It really helps other people to find my movies. Uh, leave a comment. If there's something that I missed, leave a comment. Let's have a conversation about the way I created these drawings.